hello. Okay, friends. Right now, my heart is filled with so much love, I can hardly contain it. So this is another one of those experiments where instead of going to the keyboard, I turned on the webcam. I don't have any idea what's going to come out, what I am going to say. I'm always telling you to do some work on the who am I, what am I question. Um, my main answer to that is I don't know. One takes it back as far as consciousness, awareness, but those words, they aren't enough. Words themselves may have to just fade away. Okay, I guess I'm a little shy here, believe it or not. You see, when I'm writing my journals, you don't see me when the tears are streaming down, when I have to pause for the beauty of something, or the pain of it, whatever it is. That's, uh, that's been out of your sight. I wouldn't make a very good speaker. Okay. Um, I've been having a really interesting <laughs> problem is not the word. Something. The last day or two, I've been so much in bliss. Sometimes I get, and I feel it in my hands, um, there's just a sensation of pleasure. The palms of the hands, as they touch the bed linens, the softness of the pillowcases I use, and they're wonderful ones. I buy nice linens. I shop at Tuesday morning. It spoils you for getting nice things at a, at a big discount, things that you wouldn't normally be able to buy for yourself. And uh, when you spend so much time in the bed, well, if you love yourself, I think you probably wind up with nice linens. But that's a diversion, a distraction. The hands and the feet, both of them, the palms and the bottoms of the feet, get so sensitized to, to a pleasure that is, is just from stroking something soft, petting the cat, the dog. It's uh, it's amazing. I, I don't propose to understand it at all, I don't, but I thought I'd share it. Uh, whatever's the case, one is much like another, you know, and uh, what I experience is, is not unique to me. And so maybe we can get these things out there and share them, how this, this bliss comes along. And uh, I know I've mentioned Muji and even shared some links to his videos. I've got a playlist that's just Muji. If you want to just push the button and let them come up automatically instead of, you know, continually selecting them there on YouTube. And uh, I've probably mentioned Gangaji. She's uh, another lovely teacher. I guess it's Advaita that they uh, teach, I don't know, uh, non-duality. I'm not into the mental aspects of these things, so I don't really know anything about it except what they have said. Um, and I'm not a teacher of anything. I, I, I just share my path, my walk, my experience with you. And it's constantly changing. It's never the same. But anyway, both um, 
both of these are very dear teachers and there's there's not one of their videos that I've ever seen that I wouldn't recommend so if you want to just Google and I like finding the longer satsangs online which you can do if you don't know how to do this and, and how to make it easier for yourself you Google the name of whoever it is you want let's say it's Muji and then you get a whole bunch of Google results for Muji well on the upper left of the page you will see where you can select just text just pictures just videos well select just videos and then you get a bunch of videos okay but you're not finished yet look to the left again and you'll see where you can select whether you want long ones short ones or in between and there, if you push that button then everything you get is guaranteed to be at least 20 minutes or more and so you can quickly find the longer videos if that's what you're looking for and sometimes especially with what we're doing here we're basking in heart we're meditating on that we're radiating we're, we're simmering in that uh, the longer ones are good they allow you to go deeper into yourself deeper into heart space and so all of this <laughs> just to say the teacher of both of these two, Muji and Gangaji, is uh, got a funny name. Uh, his he's from Pakistan, and uh, his name is or was Punja, and uh, they've shortened it to an affectionate Papaji. He was directly a student of Ramana Maharshi and uh, so that's how the line goes back to uh, Ramana from Muji and Gangaji on to Papaji and then to Ramana Maharshi. I just melt. I've been listening to uh, Papaji's satsangs which are usually two hours or an hour anyway and he speaks for a little while and then it's just a matter of bringing people forward with their questions and he will certainly stop you in your tracks because forget because we don't realize when we're in mind because we're so inculcated into that from little babies we've been taught the left brain that's uh, the left brain and the masculine or yang way of being uh, in the West anyway. We've been uh, shoved, pushed, and jammed into it. And uh, with the schooling especially taking us from the home at a very young age. Um, quite some time ago it went away from being focused on what was best for us. Uh, it's not that anymore and so we're just turned into the most ideal consumers and uh, sheeple uh, beings that are easily controlled and led around not by the nose but by our ideas and our beliefs and our thoughts which might as well be by the nose right it's just not such a big deal though I want to speak out against being no, I'm not going to do that. Um, I want to say something about being overwhelmed. Now, being overwhelmed by the light is just great. It's beautiful. But sometimes we get overwhelmed by the darkness that we see, especially as we're awakening, because one of the first things that happens with awakening is you open your eyes. We've been frightened we've been so frightened our whole culture is one of fear and as we're awakening we're shedding a lot of that fear and so there it goes there it goes there it goes and we stand up straighter and straighter and we're beginning to be sovereign we're stepping into that a lot of us are even stepping into heart and that's superlative I think that's as good as it gets now that's just for me mind you I'm not totally 